Hi, welcome back to Crafting a Country Life. I'm Andrea, and I'm sharing some tiny little Valentine embellishments that I created using my sewing machine and some cardstock and tissue papers, recycled uh, materials that I've been saving in a box, um, some old stickers, and some wax seals. And um, this is the first one that I came up with. And I sat down at my sewing machine and uh, using my pinking shears and also some tearing. I did some torn fabric as well on some of these and I'll show you those in a moment. And I just started layering them together and stitching them with some decorative stitching and zigzagging and so on. And I thought they came out really pretty. I had some pretty Valentine fabrics in my stash, so I pulled those out and used those. And um, that was the first example. Here is another one right here. So this has like a frayed edge to the fabric. So I tore these, you know, along the along the grain lines going in both directions to get that tattered effect. And then I layered it with some um, torn uh, cardstock papers. This paper was actually crumpled up before I tore it into pieces. And then I layered that with the fabric. And then I put this wide grow green ribbon uh, bow here in the corner and a little uh, cardstock punched doily in gold with a little Victorian sticker. This is the fabric here with the heart on it. And then I just attached this tiny little sticker with some glue that says love. I thought these came out really pretty and they have that um, kind of textural element with the fabrics in them and on this one here I had some leftover recyclable materials this this tissue paper I had gotten in a box a shoe box I had recently purchased a couple of pairs of shoes and this tissue was really pretty inside the box so I saved it aside and I used that to tear up and layer in amongst the fabrics and the music sheet paper and stickers and cardstock and so on. I thought these came out really nicely. They're really fun to make and the time just flew by when I was sitting by in the sewing machine. Of course, I love, I love to sew, so that, that was a plus. Anyway, um, here are a few others that have yet to be embellished and I did them in different sizes. Here's some more of that tissue again. Let's see, let me flip it over the back side. It's very crinkly and it's very thin, but it layers up nicely with these bits of uh, torn cardstock and torn paper that I had in my stash. So these certainly could be embellished further with different little elements, you know, buttons and lace and little text sayings and so on. Here's the next one. And some of them, you know, some people like having the strings left attached um, from their sewing, which I, I like in some instances. I did leave the string on this one, and others I did clip off. And this paper here is from um, AliExpress. I had uh, done recently done a video on a haul of materials and things that I had ordered from them, and I got a couple of packages of really cute Victorian um, cardstock papers, six by six inch size that were very reasonably priced. So I took those to collage with, and you can see some zigzag stitching here along the edge. I don't know if the camera's showing that very well, but yeah, there it is. And then little bits of lace that I had in my set, in my sewing stash, music paper, and some more of that crumpled up cardstock. So I, I really love the images on this one. So there's that. Here's one that has a little bit more of an updated look to it. This one I thought was really cute. I used some uh, collage paper that I used wet media over to paint um, some cardstock that I didn't like that I had in my stash. So I used that as the background and then just layered a fabric snippet here that I that I trimmed with my pinking shears. Did you see that? And then added a bit of lace. This I had gotten at Dollar Tree. This, they're selling these really pretty laces this year. So I, I put some of that on the edge and then you know, a couple of little die cuts and cardstock. So this could also could be embellished with text and buttons and whatever else you like. You can add these to the, the front of cards, um, journals, pamphlets, all kinds of fun things. Okay, here's another small one. 
my plan for this one is to put some uh, text over the top and maybe add a few little bits of uh, cardstock embellishments on that. That one, and then here are a few others layered with uh, the tissue paper, some lace underneath, music sheet paper, and old book pages. Here's another. This one has um, fabric layered in between the music sheet paper and the AliExpress vintage Valentine cardstock. The fabric that I used, I, well, I have a lot of fabrics in my stash, and I found a couple of charm packs that I thought would be nice for Valentine's Day, and they have kind of a traditional look to them. So these are wonderful for layering in paper crafting and other mixed media projects. And the colors are really pretty. You know, they're great for Valentine's Day. So I pulled this out of my stash to use as well. And here's an example. This is the fabric from that charm pack. And then I layered it with some torn cardstock, some AliExpress um, lace bow there, and then a little bit of AliExpress um, hem tape type ribbon on the edge. A little bit of zigzagging in there and some straight stitching as well. And here's another using that same fabric. Oops, I can see that. There we go. That I used in this little snippet here. I just did some zigzagging along the edge, decorative stitching, layered some book page in there for text. Really fun to do. These go really, really quickly. And it's fun to sit at the machine and, you know, layer them up and see what arrangement you like to place everything in before you stitch it down. So that was, that was a fun project to spend my weekend morning on. <laughs> There's some of that fabric behind there as well. Okay. And then this little one I really love. I just love these sweet little Valentine. They look like little Cupid dolls. I'm probably dating myself, but um, the Cupid dolls from years and years ago, back in the 1920s, were very popular. And this particular die-cut die paper has some cute little Cupid dolls on it. So this is kind of a fun one, too. And they're small. I mean, you can make these really any size. And they're fun for gifting, too, if you have um, friends who like to paper craft or work on mixed media projects. These are, uh, I'm sure, will be well received. Lots of fun to make and fun to give. So that is my um, project for today. And I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And I'll be back soon to have some more um, fun things to share with you. I hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye for now.